I cried myself to sleep every night for the last several months. Why? Because my beautiful Russian pear tree looks like it's dead. We had minus 42 two winters ago and minus 40 Celsius last winter. And even though this pear tree can take to about minus 40, it couldn't take two test winters in a row. So all of the grafts that I had on it died along with the tree, but it's still alive below the snow line. So today I'm going to show you a graft called the hammer and chisel graft. Uh, I think I invented it. At least I haven't seen anything like it. So we can call it Bernie's magic hammer and chisel graft. Got a nice ring to it. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Okay, we obviously use a hammer and a chisel for this hammer and chisel graft. This is simply a half inch across wood chisel. I sharpened it a little bit because you want it a little bit sharper than normal. All you do is you go to the tree hit it four or five times until you hit the heartwood. Then you take the chisel out then you go up just a little bit maybe about half inch do the same thing Make sure it goes into the heartwood. Then we're going to do the same thing on the sides. And that's the left side and now the right side. So now what we do is we take, take it out and you can see the heartwood. It's the Let's have a close-up of the camera. You can see it's nice and green and shiny right down in the middle. Now there's one last thing we do and we make another cut. Then with this cut we just simply open it just a little. Now we're ready for the cyan. Put the cyans in about an inch or two of water in the fridge overnight. Just simply cut a new bottom, put them in the fridge. They soak up an awful lot of water and they graft really, really nicely and they're more likely to take. You only need about two or three buds. This is the outside bud and we're going to be inserting the cyan like so. So on the opposite side of the outside bud you make a cut. Pretty simple. Then you make a chisel cut on the other side like so. Now here's a semi-tricky spot. You just very lightly expose the cambium layer. Like so. So you've got one flat side and one more rounded side where you've scraped the cambium off. Now all we do is we simply take the flat side, put it in where we cut that little groove, take the hammer, See how nicely it goes right in along the cambium layer? All right, you push it in down until there is no more green showing. Then just with a little bit of wax, you don't need any tape. It's held in very nicely. Take a little bit for the tip. And that's it. There's really no other type of graft you can do on a hard, bumpy surface like this with maybe a quarter inch of corky bark than this one. And this works very well. You've got a lot of sap coming up from the root and what will happen is these hardy pears, and I've done a couple a week or two earlier. Here's one that I did a couple of weeks ago and you can see it's already starting to take. And another one on this side from a couple of weeks ago, you can see they're starting to take. So this hammer and chisel graft is an ideal graft when you're grafting onto a trunk. There's virtually no other graft that you can use that'll work well when you're going through a quarter inch of corky bark. But this hammer and chisel graft works really well when you're doing a similar situation like this. Enjoy!